here with Erin Shago. Hi, I'm here with Erin Shago from MUSG. She's here to discuss some Apple Day and panel discussions that are happening. Thanks for joining me tonight. Hi. So Apple Day, do you want to explain what that is for those who haven't heard of it? Sure. Apple Day is something that originated in the United Kingdom actually in the 1990s and it's a celebration of our diversity as people through like a metaphorical representation of, with apples. So. Okay. So what sort of events are going to be going along with that? Well, it's happening October 21st, next Wednesday, and um, we're basically going to be handing, we have four and a half bushels of apples, that's a lot of apples, and we're going to be handing them out under Olin with some kind of like slips of paper explaining what's going on and some reflection items. So they're just going to be free and you're just going to be handing them out? Mm -hmm. Awesome. MUSG is also hosting a panel discussion. Um, what is the topic for this discussion? The topic is sexuality and religion, and this is actually a series that we have going on called At the Intersection. So we've already had one this semester, and this will be our second dinner and discussion series. Um, and it's going to be focusing on kind of like the role of sexuality and religion, and maybe how like policy making within the state and federal level is taking place. And when is that going to be held? That's next, uh, that's this coming Thursday, October 15th, um, and it's in AMU 163. Is it free for everybody who wants yes. to go? Yes. Yep, and food's food is also present. So. Oh, that's always good. <laughs> Do students have to register or purchase tickets for that event? No, you can just show up. Okay. Um, is it more of a discussion base or is it more of a listening type of thing? Well, we have a panel and then it's going to be um, led by students' questions. So we'll have some like preliminary questions to lead the panel on and then it's going to be open for students' questions. Okay, so who's going to be on the panel? Um, well, Father Mashka or, um, is going to be on it and then also Steve Blaha from Campus Ministry, and we also have a political science and law professor on the panel. Awesome. So all of these events are free to students? Yes, okay. all of them are free for students. And there's no registration required? Nope. Okay. Um, and Apple Day, is that to go along with some theme? Um, well, it's just, we have a diversity commission within our program board for MUSG, so they focus on all different kinds of diversity. So, so um, diversity is the yep, theme. Diversity is the theme. All right. <laughs> Thank you for joining me tonight. No I really appreciate it. Professor William Kalin from University of Florida will be giving a talk soon about medieval literature. The Knight, the Lady, and the King, Courtly Love and Medieval Literature will be the topic of the lecture. All campus members are encouraged to attend and admission is free to the public. The event is being sponsored by several department and organizations including the Honors Program, the Foreign Language Department, and Rainer Library. The talk is scheduled at 4 p.m. on October 28th. For more information, talk to Professor Stephen Taylor. A discussion on feminist poet Denise Levitov's poetry will be the topic of conversation as part of the Centennial Celebration of Women at Marquette program. Dr. Donna Hollenberg, professor of English at the University of Connecticut, will speak about Levitov and her role as one of America's youngest poetic voices. The discussion and reception will take place on October 14th. The event is free and open to the public. The first speaker in the 2009-2010 Honors Lecture Series will take place Thursday, October 15th. Dr. Farooq Nourzad, Professor of Economics, will discuss the current economic crisis and alleged crisis in economics. The Honors Student Advisory Council will invite several faculty to participate in the 2009-2010 Lecture Series. Additional speakers will include Dr. Susan Mau Maurin, Director of the Manresa Project, and Dr. Ronald Zubko, Professor Emeritus of History, as well as several others. The program will run through mid-April. Intercultural Programs is hosting two exciting events this week. American Indian Heritage is the theme of this week's events. To, tonight, they are welcoming the Wisconsin Dells Singers. They are a group of dancers and drummers that share the Ho-Chunk tradition throughout Wisconsin. This Friday, the Multicultural Center is, this, is hosting the second installment of Lunchtime Flicks. Meet at noon to see Spiral of Fire and get some free food. Stop by at any of the events sometime this week to experience the American Indian culture. Marquette Campus Crusade for Christ will host a discussion with author Rick James. The lecture series will involve what Jesus said and did and what that means for humans. James is the author of the book Jesus Without Religion, which discusses Jesus free of creeds, quarrels, and specialized theologies. The presentation will involve the teaching and meaning of Jesus. Late Night Marquette invites all students to submit a short story for its Scary Story Contest. The winner will be announced on Halloween during the Late Night event, 
The Haunting in Connecticut. A surprise Marquette celebrity will read the top stories aloud. The winners will get a gift card to bookmark. The top winning story will be published on the Late Night website. All stories have, have to be submitted by Friday in room 121 in the AMU. After the break, I'll sit down with a reporter from the Marquette Tribune. Also, find out what you can do to keep your computer safe. We'll be right back.